Hey everyone, I'm Dominique Sharpton. And I'm Ashley Sharpton. And although you may not know us, you probably know our dad. So Dominique. Yes, sir. The Reverend Al Sharpton. I call him Rev. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Growing up under our father's wings was definitely a unique experience. Yes, we've got some stories to tell. Ah, I didn't that. know you knew that. That is correct. <laughs> our talk show premiered last week, and our first guest was our dad. That's what the last doing? time I do y'all show. <laughs> we even had a watch party with friends and family up in Harlem at Cove Lounge. It was a lituation. Our show is all about getting to know celebrities' families. Trust us. When you grow up in a famous household, you get to see some crazy things. Yo, and that's, my whole family got to do a session together. What? Today's episode is with our good friend, Amara Scott, Whoopi Goldberg's granddaughter. So stay tuned on the Sharpton, Sharpton sister. sister. Sorry, the last line, <laughs> I forgot. Welcome everyone to the Sharpton Sisters. Today, we're chatting with my girl, for real. <laughs> Our guest today is the granddaughter of actress, host, and comedian, Whoopi Goldberg. But she's also an artist in her own right. Please welcome our friend, Amara Sky. Yes! Hey, welcome, yes. Amara! <laughs> oh my gosh, so Amara, we are friends, and uh, you know, we share a connection, yeah. being relatives of celebrities. But today is not the first time we're on TV together. No, it's not. <laughs> so I made my reality TV debut with you on a show called Claim to Fame. Yes. yes. Fame. <laughs> Claim to Fame. Let's go. Can you let the audience know like what that was about? Okay, so Claim to Fame was a <laughs> show we did where we had to live in a house of 12 strangers, <sighs> all related to a celebrity relative, and we had no idea who each other were. <laughs> And uh, we had to do all these um, challenges in order to get clues to figure out who each person was in the house. And you happened to be in the house with me, so that's how we met. Yeah. We turned up in the house, that's <laughs> oh, right. Yes, you yeah, but we had to keep our identities all along a secret. But. It got a little shady in there. Yeah, if I remember correctly, <laughs> you, sister, had a hand on how I got kicked off the show. I, didn't like I that. did a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. No. I did put some things together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do you remember it going down? Oh, my God. So. <laughs> I remember everyone was going crazy, going crazy, and I was trying to save Luis. Jesus Christ, I don't even know why. Help but along. you know, hey, I was trying to save Luis, and then, you know, Logan was just standing at this oh, board, just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And I guess he figured out like what a little clue was, and it was like an old school sh like sharpener. Mm -hmm. But I had no idea about that. Mm -hmm. And then when he's like, yeah, you know, like when you see this, what do you think? And I was like, oh. Looks like a pencil, pencil sharpener. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Yeah, okay." So then, what do you do to it? You sharpen it. Then he said, "Praying hands." So then I was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. Reverend, I'll yeah. sharpen it." <laughs> and because I was so excited, I blurted it out. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, took it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it was something else because Amara was like one of my closest allies. And of course, you know, you don't know how things really go down until they actually go down. But like overall, you know, how do you feel about participating in the show like that? I had a great time. I'm honestly, yeah. I feel like it was such a, a good experience just because we were with a great cast. Mm -hmm. I know we had like some bumps and stuff, but uh, I think just as far as us and like the respect level we did have for each other, I, I enjoyed it. Like I love, couldn't ask for another, like another cast to do it with. Yeah, that it. that's <laughs> true. I mean, for me, it was like, you know, as I expressed to you many times in the house, it was like, you know, I was very comfortable in this setting with 11 strangers who I was connected with in some capacity, right. but I just felt like we all had similar life experiences. Yes. We rarely meet a lot of people like That's us, true. you know, on the day to day. Um, so 
for me, it was like the bonding thing to me was everything. <laughs> like, you know, I left the house, even though like the way it went down, the way y'all kicked the dumb father out was messed up. <laughs> Sorry. But in the end, like I really, you know, developed 11 new friendships and bonds, you know, that, Especially. you know, I cherish and appreciate. Yeah. So that was the best part of it to me. It was good to yeah. watch. It was, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was just to, just to get to know it. I feel like just having to live with 12 people that we had no idea about. Yeah. That was like the most scary part to me because it was like, oh my God, what if this person Same. is like, Same. not as clean as I am. But what <laughs> do you all together on the show? What do you together? Uh, oh, well, besides being black, I'll just let you know. Around, right? That was it. Besides being black, you know, we actually had our moments where, you know, we kind of like to get a little turnt, so mm -hmm. we just kind of sneak off and drink with each I other. Can't. We had a vibe. Yeah, but not only that, Amara was also very uh, smart. Like, you, mm -hmm. so I was, you know, I'm smart. Yeah. Yes. And so I would stay up. <laughs> I would stay up literally till like four or five o'clock in the morning, and we would be investigating. And Amara would just be up with me, and we would just be like trying I'm to crack people and trying to. Yeah. yeah. So it was like we together. we bonded because we were always the ones like up trying to figure stuff out, working together. Yeah. Like, what you think about this? Going off of strategies and stuff. And so that's I think how we bonded. And then she was also cool, like yes. mad cool. So her, her energy was always like vibrant gotcha. and you know amazing. So yeah. I always. I always found myself wanting to be near Amara in some capacity. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I could catch a vibe. Yeah, I was, the, you know, she was always, you know, people would always took her in like the wrong <laughs> light. But when I would yeah. talk to her, I'm like, man, she's mad chill. Yeah. We yeah. just get a drink and we lit. I can't. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I enjoy I that. that. I guess I effect can't. on people. You do. You do. Growing <laughs> up, you did. Amara, would you do reality TV again? <laughs> oh, most definitely. I okay. would definitely. Right. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about me. Oh, but... <laughs> it's yeah, it, was, it was an experience. Despite how things played out on the show, I do have good memories of us bonding during that time. Okay. I had a crazy story about my celebrity relative. Really? Yes, yes. So, um, one time we were in an elevator and you know, they just start farting. It's what? Just, yeah, just start farting. Then it was just like, all right. Oh my god! Watch this. It was probably funky. It's a fart <laughs> war in there. No, it started going. We, you going, did it too. It was going back and forth, oh, having a good time, having Lord. a good time, and um, we was cracking up when I tell you it was going all the time, <laughs> killing each other. Like, damn, you really? know? Yep. So then someone comes in. The, the elevator stopped. The elevator stopped on no. the floor right before we were supposed to go. We almost rode it all the way to the top. Oh and, shoot! And uh, literally. They walk in, but you see them, they're just like, ah! Did y'all bust out laughing? We bust out laughing, but then my celebrity goes, did you just fart? <laughs> so the new person. Oh my God! <laughs> the elevator story, I had to tweak a little bit because I wasn't there, but it was my favorite story that my grandma has told me about her, Robin Williams, and Billy Crystal standing in an elevator and Robin Williams was just farting his life away. I guess they were Dutch ovening each other, just basking in the ambience of farts. My grandma got her name because she likes to fart a lot, so Whoopi Cushion farts. And that's how Karen Johnson became Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> she, well, as she told me when I was younger, she used to have a lot of gas and she just used to <laughs> fart a lot. Yeah. So I guess that she just hilarious. got the name Whoopi Cushion, Whoopi Farts. That's interesting. And Goldberg, I don't know how that got there, but you know, it's, it's there. So our father also has a similar story about changing his name. Legally, his name was Alfred Charlton and he cut it and changed it to Al Charles. Yeah, and I think it was like James Brown who told him, That's right. if you wanted to make it mainstream, you gotta drop the Fred and just go with Al. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's now just Al. Both names are swaggy. Yeah. <laughs> Both names are swaggy? I like Alfred. As like I said, Alfred is cute. I, I do enjoy Alfred. I cannot. I would love to date a man named Alfred. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. We're boys. So. <laughs> I want to talk to you, though, about your experience as the granddaughter of Whoopi Goldberg. Well, do people tell you you look like your grandma? You know, I'm getting that. I've gotten it a couple of times. Uh, I see it sometimes. I see it. You know? Let's look side by side. I see it. Sure. Let's look side by side. I don't see it. It's up for y'all to make the decision. Let's do it. I oh, see it. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. I see, I see it. it. You like your mommy, too. But you are your mom's <laughs> twin. Yeah, that part. We're, we're just spitting images. So Sister Act 2 is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I was learning here when oh, I was younger. Too. Favorite movie of <laughs> yep. all time. Like, favorite. It's the best. And, like, your mom was in the movie. Yes, yeah, she was. She that was, was crazy. Yeah. That was, yes. Yeah, she, uh, your mom was so fat. She's having a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was her. <laughs> <laughs> 
The I best can't. line. Okay. The best line. The best one liner yes. that you could get in a movie. Come and join the chorus. Yeah. Oh my god, I have to show you <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Hey. Why did we run that choreography back? Oh, we did it in my church. And like I said, we, we have it. it. Oh, yeah. no. Like best film of all time. Music so all the yeah. way down all to the, the professional soundtrack yeah. for the rest of life. So I don't, you know, we've met a lot of <laughs> celebrities in our lives. Like right. just keep it a hundred. Yeah. But when I met your grandmother, like she was one that I was just Stop. like, I was completely starstruck. And I couldn't act like that in front of you because you know I was like, you know, I'm cool, I'm chill, you know. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, we in Granny House, what's up? <laughs> but I was like, Oh my God, that's what we that's go over. And I'm standing here and I'm talking to her and she's amazing. Yeah, room. we were <laughs> dead in her room. <laughs> no, just it was the most in her amazing. Closet. I think I needed some. In her closet. Yo. Yo, and I was like, you know, my hand was hurting, and she's like, let me, let me help you with that. I was just yeah, like, oh my like, gosh, she's available. amazing. <laughs> she's so cool. But like, she's you know, sweet. I mean, that's your granny. Like, oh, what yeah. was it like growing up being Whoopi Goldberg's granny? Man, it's it's great. So let me just tell you guys a cool fact about us is we have the same birthday. Yes. So, you and your grandma? Yes, me and my grandma have the same birthday. It's November. Oh, 13th. so your birthday is always Amara, Amara has amazing yeah. parties, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Yes. I she know great party. She just had like a skate party, like. <laughs> Skating. I ain't been on skates in it years. It was literally the New York version of ATL. I need an invitation next All the time. crews came out. They were oh, all dressed the same. Oh, oh, show up. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, you did okay. it. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Happy yeah. birthday. You, <laughs> you had a ticket up. and everything. Okay, I'm sorry. Tell <laughs> it. But um, yeah, no. So um, so just being that is just you know the personality is just there. Mm -hmm. So just having someone that's basically uh, a generation, a couple generations gap ahead of you, but the same person as you. Right. I think that, it's like that's I get to late. see what I could be when I like that's get older. Crazy. But it, it's it was growing up with her. I feel like it was it was definitely fun. It had its uh, perks. Well, what was the best part? Yeah, yeah, you had to get oh, yeah, no, I mean, to. I just the traveling. Obviously, you know, you're traveling, okay. and then you know. What's the best to, place you've ever been? Uh, not, not, I haven't gone too many places, but you know, like when I go to Disneyland, Disney oh, World, okay. I enjoy And everything that. is just like set up. Like you don't got to worry about set the up, lines. Tour guide, okay. we go straight to the thing <laughs> right. in the back. We don't have to walk the full, you know, right, you right, 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 right. Whoopi is not waiting for the ride. I love yeah. that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's my favorite thing to do, honestly. And then she usually um, opens Christmas for uh, Disney World and she does the Christmas reading. Right. So we'll wow. be over there so this dope. Thursday. Oh my God. That's <laughs> amazing. Have fun. Yo. But I mean, just growing up with her and having an iconic person is just, it, it was it was great. And it's, it's also um, a challenge as well, because you know, how can you compete with a goat? That is just insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is. But yeah, so you we talked a lot about the perks, but also the struggles, like, and you talked about that. But how do you deal with, like, criticisms, you know, like, so that's something that we always deal with, you know, having like a celebrity re relative who mm -hmm. like literally has broken barriers yeah. in the right. industry. It's right. like, you got to deal with the cheers and the jeers. And my father always tells us like, you're not really even that relevant if you can't deal <laughs> with the cheers and the jeers. If you don't have them coming from both sides, like, yeah. who are you really? Right. So I know like, you know, everybody loves your grandmother yeah. and talks, but you also get the other side mm -hmm. Where you have to deal with the criticism like how do you right. deal with that because i know me like i'd be fighting people on twitter and stuff all the time and it's just like i have to take a step back and be like okay you know i understand this person may not see this my, my dad from my point of view and not know that and, right you know so how do you deal with the criticism i mean you know what i guess at the at the end of the day you know we are the only people besides the other relatives what we're we know our celebrity relative the most yeah. you know that's our family like that's yeah. your dad yeah. mine's my grandmother that's so i'm brought up and grown you know i was mm -hmm. raised by you so it's just kind of like i know you as a person and you know there's a whole bunch of millions of people with opinions that with that have opinions and they're gonna say what they say and they have no idea what they're talking right. about they weren't there when it happened right. so right. you kind of have to instead of trying to fight all every wrong. single one you know you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself trying that's to do right that. so you gotta you gotta like you know just know that you know your person and you know if someone has a question you say what you say whether they take it they don't you know it's 
That's their own have battle. you witnessed her <laughs> having some breakdown moments? Like, have you had to yes. kind of lift her up? Like, come on, Granny, let's you know yes. get it together. You know, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks, and then you got to see him just be, feel like no, you know, you just you, I just gotta be like, you know, Granny, I love you. You're the best. You the strong. You're stronger yeah. than me. You're the strongest person I know. Come on, you told me all this stuff, so let's let's put it in action. And, that's special. I've definitely been there. We definitely yeah, been there. Right? Sure. Yes. Many, many times. It's rough. Tomorrow, <laughs> girl, you are amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences. When we come back, we'll be chatting more with Amara about what she's up Yay. to and what's next. So we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> talking about our experiences as relatives of celebrities but I want to get to know Amara now okay so tell me about your life what are you up to um right now I just um I'm painting you know trying to get some new uh, new series going on right now even though I didn't get my painting yet so Amara be doing these pop-up art shows (laughs) and be doing all these dope amazing beautiful like paintings and I hit her like Amara let me get that like (laughs) <laughs> and I still didn't get my painting. I got you. I got you. Like, Come to the house. I got you. Pick out whatever you want because I need. To, I'm trying to get rid of all these paintings so I can start kind of fresh with yeah. one new, new series that I'm trying to do. And we do showcases. We need to include those. Yeah, yeah. really, really amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. Um, I'm good for it. Like I usually do like live painting. So wow. Um, you I just wherever you're at, I just set up and I'll paint for hours, and you'll come up with something nice, whatever. What is your biggest inspiration artistically? Um, so most of my creativity comes from it's stories of my vagina. Okay. So I was going, <laughs> interesting. I uh, yeah, you're, I knew this was coming. Everyone asked me this question, but it's but it was a okay a therapy I wasn't ready thing for, that. for me. So I was going through a lot of stuff. I was getting into a lot of trouble with men and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and I kind of based. Uh, the uh, therapeuticness are just releasing on like, you know, what is it that she's doing? (laughs) You know, she has a different brain, you know, she want to do things and it get me in some hot trouble and I don't know why I'm here. So then, you know, I had to release that and put it into painting. So she definitely gives me most of my uh, inspiration. inspiration. She's got all mine. Right now. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to put them so they could connect and it don't make sense. You know, I can't have one brain here and one brain here. They have to kind of Figure it out together. All right, right inspiration. (laughs) I wasn't ready for that one. That is amazing. Um, But we also hear that, you know, you're getting into the cannabis game. Yes, yes. So can you tell us more about that? Yes, so my grandma's been in this game for a while. She has uh, her own company called Emma and Clyde. Whoopi, go ahead, Whoopi, go over. She's got some things. Um, and Whoop. we got Whoop Fam, which is us and our whole family brand that we has a, have as a whole. I'm going to try Whoop that. Fam. I'm a very one enthusiast. Oh, that's that. so oh, yeah, the whole family. So. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so, yes, yeah, she's actually opening a couple of uh, dispensaries in Jersey at the moment. I think one in Atlantic wow. City and nice. one in um, wow. Patterson. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we're about to have that. Um, I'm that's hosting exciting. a cannabis TV show. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. Oh, oh my god, I don't know my name. <laughs> <laughs> Do we smoke it? No. <laughs> we need to. <laughs> Twins. Please tell us you got that. <laughs> All right, my name is Brandon Michael Hall. I'm Amari Sky. And this is Weed Trips. From the Rastafarian lifestyle in Jamaica to the coffee shops in Amsterdam to DC, New York City, Colorado, and California, and all the places in between. Every episode, we'll be traveling to a new place around the world to study the political, the sociological, the innovation, and of course, the fun of cannabis and how it's used. Yes. Okay, so. (laughs) Wait, what before, does that the, mean? before the TV show, what's your preference with cannabis? Do you smoke it? Do you eat it? Oh, I, I definitely prefer to smoke it. If I eat it, I will not die. I'll be dead for like three days. So. <laughs> really? Girl, yes. I lose my mind. Like, I just, I, I hate it. Okay. What if I ingest it? Because I can't control it. Okay. Gotcha. I like gotcha. to hit it yeah. a little bit and put it down yeah. and come back to it. <laughs> what is your That's biggest cute. aspiration right now? Um, My biggest aspiration, I could say, would be... Um, I want to open like a warehouse so I can open a gallery and put my 
stuff in there. You know, I want to be able to have like a a fun house, as you would call it, so I can host parties, host events, have a full immersive warehouse where you could just kind of do whatever you want, rent it out. Mm -hmm. But that's my goal, just to have a spot where everyone can hang out and chill. Yeah. Amara's fun house. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. We also make sure y'all hashtag Skeezy Does It. That's Skeezy my girl. Add me on Instagram. <laughs> Skeezy Does It. Amara does staying it. with us. We'll be back with more of the Sharpton Sisters. <laughs> oh, weed is positive for me just because uh, it helps me with my anxiety. Um, it actually helps me with my creativity. I feel, you know, as a painter, I, I like to kind of open up my third eye, and I think that that is a way that it, it helps me do that. Look at this. That is... I dub the <laughs> queen of the farms. Oh my god, that's a big one. We are back with Amara Sky. Dominique and Amara, as we know, you appeared together on a reality show called Claim to Fame. Today, we're gonna find out some other things that you both are infamous for. You ready for that? Mm. I'm gonna read out different scenarios and you tell us which one sounds more like you. It's time to play Claim to Shame. Let's go. go. <laughs> okay. The person who gets the party so lit, it gets shut down. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's <laughs> okay. Being the friend most likely to get into an argument when we go out. That's you. No, that's me. Me? I can't. I can't. Hmm. That is probably true, but I would say that was you. Yeah. <laughs> Running up a credit card bill? Yeah. Amara. What? Uh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Dominique. Me? Yeah. Dominique. Yeah. <laughs> I know wow. That. I think I know this one. Bite off too much of a weed brownie. Probably me. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, I was like... Liking gossip a little too much? Definitely me. Def down. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving a party without saying goodbye? Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique, in and out. I love so you, In and out. Here, goodbye. I can't. <laughs> okay. Most likely to get into an argument during the holidays? During the holidays? Yeah. I would say Dominique. You? <laughs> me? Why I always gotta take the argument? You I don't know. Feisty. Yeah, I'm feisty. yeah, you like to yeah. fight. Yeah, but when that Hennessy hit, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, me. Okay. Right. Next question. <laughs> Most likely to get married on a whim in Las Vegas. Definitely you. Uh, mm. oh, no, <laughs> I ain't getting married. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, dang it. Oh, yeah. no. Definitely That's not. Just, it was a clear. Uh, anyway. Definitely not doing that. I don't know about that one. No. Next one. Me. Most likely, I think I know this answer already. Most likely to get kicked off of a reality show first. That would be the Don Father. <laughs> yes. Sorry. That happened in real life. So I've got one more. Sliding into a fine man's DMs. Definitely me. That must be, that me both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can take that. Yeah. I, I, I'm a little slutted out. <laughs> 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 Let me see what's up. What's the last time you did that? Uh, Last night. Last night? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All the time. Okay. I can't. Okay. Well, that was claim to shame. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Thank you both. That was fun. Amara, thank you so much for coming on with yes, us, the Sharpton Sisters. Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining Amara. us today. We had a blast with you. Oh, yes. Yay. Thank you guys so much for having me here. It was fun. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Thank you so much for watching uh, the show. And a big thank you to our guest, Amara Sky. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I love you. Thank you, the best. Thank you the best. so much for everything. And we look forward to supporting you yes. participating in like all of your events, everything you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Art, the cannabis. Yeah, we, we got I'm you. Here. We got you. Thank you again for having me. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, keep you us in the hilarious. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, definitely. We're gonna be doing everything. Yes, cannabis <laughs> yes. all day. All day. <laughs> Tell yeah, the OG I said hello. Yes, yes. yes. I'll send you a painting. Can I call her? I can call it Granny. <laughs> I love you, Granny. <laughs> Make sure to catch us next time on the Sharpton Sisters right here on Foxo. Hey there, Dominique and Ashley. I just want to say congratulations on your new show, The Sharpton Sisters. I know your pop's proud, and I'm really proud of you, too. I'm really excited for you all to have this new opportunity. 
I know when you came to see me, when Amara brought you to the house, I figured y'all were working on something. So I hear that she's had a good conversation with you all, and I love that. And I know you're both smart, funny, gorgeous, really just smart and fabulous, and you deserve to have your voices be heard. And you are definitely in the right place on Fox Soul. That's what I can tell you. And again, all the best. Go kick ass, girls. You earned it. That, that was just, surreal. Like that, that was crazy. like crazy. <laughs> the drama most to me because that's Whoopi Goldberg. Like oh yeah. my god. Like she is the queen. Like, I know. Been, like our show. Like it's incredible. But she's like she's so cool. Like I mean, just even like every ch chance I've been around her, she's always encouraged me. Always uplifting me. Like, she always has a positive word, always has a hug. It's just always amazing. So, oh, glory be to God. That's yeah. incredible. Amara's so blessed. Yes, Amara. <laughs> <laughs> and we love Amara. We love you, Amara. So, thank you. That's thank you. We love you. Thank, thank you, Wookie. Thank you, Queen. We love you, guys. Thank you.